What will stop you in your tracks in wonder? This is indeed a most pithy and worthy question, and we would ask you to go into meditation momentarily and see what is your answer. Please open your eyes again. What you have seen will be a pointer towards something which will expand your joy and increase your awareness and step up the pace of your spiritual journey. To reach spiritual beauty, which is perfect poise and integrity, measured and apt responses, an inner core of optimism, and a continual awareness of the divine presence within, it is necessary to live each moment anew without preconceptions or bitterness, ever fresh like an opening rosebud or like the unfurling of a tender young fern. If you are running on, on automatic if you are moving forward in full force or in euphoric self-conviction, or if you are running in fear, or if you feel impelled to prove yourself, then the very idea of stopping will be foreign to you. Stopping in wonder will not be on your agenda or part of your experience, nor will it be able to provide you with those precious pauses which gift you with insight and joy, awareness and information. They can even help you avoid catastrophe, enabling you to change direction should you be heading for a concrete wall or head-on collision. So if we return to the original question, what will stop you in your tracks in wonder? What will it be? Is the only thing which will stop you in your tracks a huge event, such as a celestial appearance, or a third world war, or a tornado on your very doorstep? To you we suggest a change of focus. Close your eyes again and visualize a leaf. Now please open your eyes again. Now investigate a real leaf closely in order to compare. Even better, visit a tree nursery or a botanical garden or a jungle where you will see multiple leaves of all shades, colours and sizes. Then multiply this experience. Visualise a present situation or relationship or project and then go out to investigate, gather inspiration and create greater than such. Thus you will come to learn of the very small parameters of what you initially thought existed and you will learn of the huge variety and possibilities of what exists beyond the realms of your present imagination and understanding. More significantly, you will look in wonder at nature's gifts and you will wonder at the creativity which these can inspire in you. You will also recognise the divine workings inherent in their growth patterns. There are so many ways to grow, beloved children on earth, demonstrated by examples all around you. Take pauses to wonder and reflect upon yourselves and upon the earth which hosts you and consider how you can preserve this beauty instead of destroying it. If you are capable of stopping to wonder at a leaf, 
at a spider's web or at a ladybird crawling across your window at the sun breaking at the beginning of a new day then shall you be in continuous appreciative flow and ready to greet all with a joyful heart thus may you also transform